What's up gamers? Hope you're doing well. Today I am attempting to unbox the ROG Keras for you guys and for me because I wanted to check this thing out. But I spent the first 10 minutes just trying to literally get this box open. The struggle was real. Then I thought I lost the damn dongle but it turns out the son of a bitch was just hiding in the bottom of the mouse. So Needless to say, this unboxing has been a shit show, and I already have it all out of the box, because it was just awful, so screw that thing. So let's look at this mouse. It's a lightweight wireless mouse. It's 79 grams. Now, a few months ago, this would have been one of the lightest wireless mice on the market, but in the last few months, competition has been pretty fierce in the wireless space with the Model of Wireless and the Logitech Superlight. So it's no longer one of the lightest options, but 79 grams, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm not a weight snob by any means, um, but I do, with that being said, I do prefer mice on the lighter side. Now, first, I'll get kind of the accessories out of the way here. Right away, I really love this cable. It's flexible, it's light, it's USB-C, it's everything a cable should be in 2021. So basically what I'm saying is the super lights cable fucking blows. That's pretty much pretty much it. Now the ROG Keras does come with swappable switches. So they really brag up their own switches, the ROG micro switches, but they did include some Omron switches. And in the same bag, they also include some replaceable skates. So you can see, sort of, you can see the switches, uh, also the skates there. And they also allow you to swap out the side buttons. It's a bit unfortunate that it's only an aesthetic thing. So if you want to put your own flair on it and you can obviously add like these pink or gray buttons, I guess maybe they're, I didn't say they're maybe they're red, but no, they're, they're definitely more pink than red. Um, and the reason why I wish you could change the shape or how much they stick out a bit is because the side buttons on this mouse, they don't stick out very far. They're very flush which means they're gonna be a little bit harder to actuate than other buttons out there. They do sink into the mouse quite a bit too when you press them. It's still nice and clicky, don't get me wrong, uh, and the feedback is very good, but if you press them hard, I mean, they are they feel like they're just gonna disappear inside the shell of this mouse. Now, just to cover one thing I don't like about this mouse right away, so I can get my bitching out of the way, is the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel feels pretty mushy, um, even when you click it in to like actuate it, it doesn't feel crispy and I'll let you listen to it. All right. Now as a comparison, I've actually been using the x M42 and I'll review that'll actually be my next review. So it's going to be a little bit before I get to the Keras, but this is what the scroll wheel sounds like. Here we go. All right, so it's definitely a lot more clicky. Feels a lot better. Um, so, and the, the scrolling on the Keras, I mean, most mice are gonna feel and sound better than it. So that's just the one missed opportunity is this scroll wheel. But moving on from that, the triggers are PBT. So it should hold up pretty well to finger oil. Um, you can actually see my finger oil already on like the rest of the shell. Um, and it's just kind of missing on the, the triggers, but I haven't actually used this thing yet. So we'll see see how that holds up the shell is a little bit slippery but it doesn't really matter because the side grips on this and i shouldn't say grips it's just they texturize the sides as well so it matches the feeling of the triggers but it's pretty grippy so it's definitely not a mouse you're ever gonna really need to worry about side grips or anything like that but just know that this section the back of the shell is definitely a little more slippery but overall a pretty good feel i will say though so the, the ROG micro switches feel fine, but the triggers feel strange. And I'm not sure why. It's not like a bad thing. It's just a different. It's just, they feel different than anything I've used before. Maybe because like the front of this mouse like goes up so far and the triggers almost like wrap around it. But it's just a different and kind of a unique feeling. I don't know yet if it's a good feeling or a bad feeling. I'll find out once I actually start using this thing and just see how good I shoot with it. But for now, I guess I'm just cautious. Um, 
you can change the DPI. There's a DPI switch on the bottom. To change the DPI, you need to press the DPI button in and then you need to flick your scroll wheel uh, through the settings and the scroll, the scroll wheel will change colors if, you know, depending on what setting you're on. Um, for me, I don't care. I'm just going to set my DPI to 800 and never touch it again, but might be useful for some folks out there. Um, you can play with it, or I should say connect just simply wired. You can use Bluetooth or like me, you can use the dongle. I mean, that's probably what most people are going to be using nine times out of 10, but you do have options. Now the skates are kind of unique. ROG basically is saying that the size of skates aren't really what determine the glide and the feel of the glide, it's the shape. So they went with a shape here where you can see you have more surface area on the outside where it's kind of wider and then it tapers down to a point on the inside of the skates and it does feel pretty dang good. I am using a fast pad right now, so it's not that it's super slippery or a super fast glide as far as the skates themselves. It's making it glide this much, it's simply my pad, but it does, yeah, it feels pretty smooth. Now, one thing I wanna talk about is the shape of this mouse. It is a different kind of feeling mouse. It feels good. Um, I like the kind of the flare on this side here it provides a shell for me to rest my fingers which i appreciate um like the, the m42 i really like the shape of this mouse but i run out of space for my fingers which is a little bit frustrating at times um, and this it makes it very comfortable to use and it's still small enough that i have plenty of room to make micro adjustments on um, some of those ergo mice they just get like the skull for example like micro adjustments i shouldn't even say micro but just adjustments in general if you use a claw grip are just tough uh that shouldn't be the case with this mouse um yeah so overall i think that pretty much covers it definitely looking forward to using this thing so in the next couple months or so i have a full review and just to let you know how this thing works um and just how it feels in general so it'll be a little bit before that's out but that's all i have for you guys in this one and I'll talk to you sometime soon.